Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and then come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. It is a rainy Friday, August the 4th today, and our devotions are coming from Joyce Meyer's book called Trusting God Day by Day. And our devotion today is entitled Choose Peace and Joy Instead of Dread. Our scripture comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 29. And of course, this is out of the Amplified Bible. Then I said to you, dread not, neither be afraid of them. Dread, fear, all the same. All right, let's get into this. Probably one of the greatest ways we show our trust in God is by living life one day at a time. We prove our confidence in him by enjoying today and not letting the concern of tomorrow interfere. It made a big change in my life when I began to gain insight from the Holy Spirit on this problem of dreading things. This truth about living one day at a time greatly increased my peace and joy. And it will do the same thing for you. I learned that it really was not the event I was facing that was so bad. It was dreading, it was dreading it that made it bad. Our attitudes do make all the difference in the world. Learn to approach life with an I can do whatever I need to do through Christ attitude. Don't say that you hate things like driving to work in traffic, going to the grocery store, cleaning the house, doing laundry, changing the oil in the car, or cutting the grass. These chores are all part of life, and it is useless to dread them. We got to live life. We have to be adults. We have to do the things we need to do to be good stewards of our properties, of the things that God has put in our hands. We've got to do it. Don't let the events of life dictate your level of joy. It is the joy of the Lord that is your strength. Be joyful that you are going to heaven. Be grateful that you have someone who always loves you no matter what. Look and concentrate on what you do have, not what you don't have. Everyone has to attend to some unpleasant details in life. Stressful, you know, frustrating. We all have to do it. You know, I don't like calling the doctor and having to get on the phone and wait and be put on hold. You know what I'm saying? And setting up things. I'm not afraid of those things. It's just, I don't like my time being wasted. You know, you call a repairman to come to the house and they give you a six hour window of time. So you literally have to take the entire day off just so that you're there when they come. You know, I hate that. I really do. I don't, I don't enjoy that because there's other things I could be doing and I'm kind of at their mercy. I understand. <laughs> I understand. I don't like those things. They're a nuisance. Okay. It is the joy of the Lord. I'm going to repeat this because I need to hear this too. Sometimes those things can really sweep over us. It's the joy of the Lord that is your strength. Be joyful that you're going to heaven. Be grateful that you have someone who always loves you no matter what. Look at and concentrate on what you do have and not what you don't have. Everyone has to attend to some unpleasant details in life, so don't dread them, but learn how valuable God's peace is in those circumstances. Some things are certainly more naturally enjoyable and easier to do than others, but that does not mean we cannot purposely choose to enjoy the other less enjoyable tasks. We can choose to have attitudes of joy and peace. We can choose, just as we can bring captive a thought. Okay, anything the enemy's using to disrupt your peace, you can grab it and make a choice. Okay, usually, it don't, usually we don't feel like doing something. We automatically assume we cannot enjoy it or have peace during that time. But that is a deception. We grow spiritually when we do difficult things with a good attitude. Okay, so I love how she phrased that. We automatically assume we cannot enjoy a task or have peace during that time that we're doing it. That's a deception. We certainly can. Not that we're going to fall in love with traffic or not that we're going to fall in love. My husband is 
traffic's the thing for him. He does not like it. He's just always trying to find a way around it. And it doesn't bother me at all. I just turn on the radio. I have conversation. You know, I listen to music or whatever it is I have just to, you know, I like chit-chatting with my sister whenever we go. Uh, I remember we were headed out, I think it was last year, to my friend's house in Charlotte, my girlfriend Terry's house. And um, what was the event? It was something where there was quite a few people that were coming in. It's like a little weekend thing. So we went, and it's normally like a two-and-a-half-hour drive to Charlottesville from Virginia Beach, the route that we take. And so we're talking away and, you know, there's, we noticed that there's a little bit of traffic and, you know, we're kind of calculating, okay, we should be at Terry's at around four o'clock, la la la, we'll be there in time for dinner, et cetera, et cetera. Talking away and enjoying each other. And then I looked down, we'd only gone two miles and it was like an hour and 45 minutes into the trip. We should have almost been there by then. So then I said, oh my gosh, I said, okay, okay, you know, because we always text, hey, we're heading out, and they know exactly in their brain how long it takes us to get there. So I said, you need to take a picture of the traffic, text it to Terry and tell her, this is our current situation. We've only gone two miles. <laughs> it's, I mean, we weren't exactly at a dead standstill. We were creeping along. And then when we finally got on the other side of it, there was no evidence that there had been an accident or anything like that going on. That can be frustrating. And, uh, you know, long story short, about four hours later, we were finally there. So it took double the time and we wound up getting there right around six or seven. And um, yeah, it was much later than we thought, but it was, it was fine. I mean, we weren't bothered at all, but it was kind of flabbergasting to us that such a short trip could be delayed. And then we saw no evidence of what caused it. You know, like if there had been a car crash or something, was there debris on the side of the road or the remnants of this or that? You know, what caused such a huge backup on the highway? We saw no evidence of it. And that to me, I have a little bit more grace when I know that there's been something serious going on or like if they're doing road repair. I understand they got to maintain the roads. I saw no evidence of road repair, work teams, nothing. I saw nothing. So it's like, so what just caused that backup? So, yeah, I don't know if you guys are like, <laughs> I don't have grace when I see no reason because I feel like my time was wasted for nothing. Okay. But you know, if there's something going on, obviously you can. So maybe I just need to grow a little bit more in that. Okay. Our trust in him today is dreading things does not glorify God. Show your trust in him by facing each day with a good attitude. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for today, oh God. I ask, oh Lord, that you would help each of us to shift our attitude towards peace and joy when we face the everyday things and stresses of life that everyone has to face, that we not dread those tasks, but that we would glorify you in them. Shift our hearts, minds, and attitudes, Father God, to think about other things aside from the things that must be done. Father, I thank you and I give you all the glory that you are our ever-present help in our time of trouble. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear and help us to grow in you, Father, that we better represent you to those around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I do hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell. Come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. Uh, <clears throat> I've got a, another busy weekend. Uh, tonight, we're going to be decorating the church for the wedding tomorrow. <clears throat> and I'm sure there's going to be a rehearsal in there somewhere. I've got to pack up the flowers and get ready. And to go uh, for that today, that event. And I have a friend who's also coming in tomorrow. So I've got to get a few things to get a welcome basket ready for her in the guest room I have prepared for her. So, you know, I've got a few things to, to get done today and other other plans and stuff. I'm hoping to get a shop with me in the in today. Um, 
I'll probably be able to take care of that after my mother's doctor's appointment this morning. So <laughs> God bless you all. Thank you for spending a little time with me today. Feel free to leave your comments below. Share this uh, devotion with somebody if you think it would be a blessing to them. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. God bless you and bye until next time.